Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, Plan Aloud. Today is, of course, going to be a fun haul. I bought lots of items from the Happy Planner, like Black Friday week kind of deal. So let's just jump right in. And then I also have my planner for next year, which the Happy Planner sold out of, but I got at Michael's, so I'll show you guys that sticker books last and we're gonna just put those to the side and honestly i just got my disc out now so might as well so these are the classic metal disc in i believe jade and it's just this really pretty really dark teal and are they iridescent a little bit they are a little bit iridescent I love anything from blue all the way up to green. So basically, I have a whole range. Like, teal is my favorite color as of, like, an adult. But ever since I was, like, little, little, like, hunter green, like, super dark, like, wintry green is, like, my ultimate favorite color. But as I've gotten older, it's turned into all shades of teal so then we're gonna go into bookmarks and dashboard let's do bookmarks first so as i am going forth with my happy planning deal the disc bound system i have just come to absolutely love bookmarks and dashboards so anytime i see some that i actually like on sale i just kind of nab them if these came from a specific collection if they did i don't know where they are it's so crazy when i look at this because they're in fountain valley in orange county and i don't live far from there like i drive by the main office all the time guys which is pretty wild but these are the bookmarks i got just a plain pretty let me see if i have a white sheet of paper just to make it pop a little bit more so we have this bookmark and i love it that it says this week and then the next one says let your soul and spirit fly and it says this month which i actually do keep bookmarks on my monthlies and my weeklies and then this one just says notes but i have always like you can just put like a header and then change it to whatever you want or leave it blank you know you don't even have to pay attention to it if it's not something you use and this one is just life is full of phases and then it has like moon phases a couple of moon phases not the full extent but yeah i just found these to be incredibly beautiful so i nabbed them they're on a super good sale too i think they were less than five bucks and then i have everyday dashboards and to me i nab these and I use them just like bookmarks. I don't mind interchanging them at all. It doesn't say this one comes from a specific collection. It's just everyday use. And these are probably some of the most neutral bookmarks slash dashboards that I have. And it says do what you think you can't do, which is super true. I don't know if these ones are coming with that back backing film like they used to but i know that they used to come with like a film i'm not even gonna attempt and then this one is just plain and gold with stripes which i'm pretty obsessed with and this one says it all starts with a dream pretty neutral nice and black and white so those are all the dashboards and bookmarks I got. This is probably one of my favorite accessories by far. I used to think it was the envelopes because I used to actually use the envelopes, especially in my budget planner. But I've been trying not to like print, get my printed receipts and just have them like emailed or sent to me via text message. So I don't use my envelopes as much as I used to. And this is a classic snap in soft planner cover and it's a blue with dots they're just calling it dots and i love these snapping covers they are 
absolutely one of my favorite accessories for sure. So we're just gonna... So this is what these look like. It's just, it's navy and then this is dark blue as well, navy color with the dots. And this is the same and it says happy planner. Is that silver? I believe it's in white. And this is like kind of like a faux leather pleather kind of thing. Um, I have lots of these. So these ones actually feel like I think these are older. Let me see. Mm, no, it's not. I know the older ones, it was very difficult to get it on and off the plastic. Um, these don't seem to be that. Um, I don't know when these ones came out, but I just love a snapping cover, so I grabbed them. These were only 11 bucks, and they're no normally 30 so there you go. So this is the planner I got. I have been eyeing this for weeks, and I just never got it because I just honestly didn't want to pay full price, to be perfectly honest. So by time... I was ready to make a purchase on Happy Planner. <laughs> it was sold out. And I went on Joann's and couldn't find it. So I was pretty disappointed. And I have been searching and searching and searching for a different planner. Like just like dashboard inserts. And it was just, it was not happening. So this planner, let me tell you the name of it. I know that it's Apricot and Sage. The 12 month dashboard layout classic size let's see yeah that is all it's telling me right now so I believe this is the mom planner which I am a mom but I didn't think that I would actually want a mom planner but here it is tired as a mother so here is 2024, 2025 calendar. You can put in your ahead things that are going to be happening potentially. And I believe this is called the perpetual calendar. I almost never used this. I almost, I haven't had full planner actually in probably in about a year and a half. And I just got back into like a dated planner this year i believe in august so i have no clue what i'm gonna do with these if i'm gonna use them at all i might end up just taking them out so here is i guess this would be considered our dashboard for the month or your currently page or whatever else you want it to be and let's get into january so here it is it's pretty neutral this is grid paper over here on the left hand side and then month overview and this is actually a little bit different than what my current planner looks like glad that they finally took out the gray that makes me incredibly happy look guys this is wild the first of the month is on a monday <gasps> that's pretty wild i didn't even notice that until this year that's pretty cool but we have our task important looking ahead and notes i'll probably keep my task list and then i'll just cover these items up that's what i typically do but i do like the task list because i always do that so of course it's going to repeat itself and then we have that like overview for the month or you could use it as your currently page or your to-dos for the month or your goal setting, all the things. So now we're just gonna look at get every single month. So kindness is the greatest wisdom. Ooh, this is just pretty. I really like that. Love is patient. It really is, guys. Be present in the moment. Best mom ever definitely don't feel like that half of the time but you know 
it's all in perspective when you love what you have you have everything you need that's pretty true my favorite people call me mom I always tell my son that he's my favorite human and I have to say it is a very accurate statement I love him to pieces and he is truly my favorite human good things take time yep busy days happy heart I feel like none of our days are ever just chill they're always flying by I always choose to act with a kind heart that's very hard to do sometimes and then new day fresh start this one is really always oh, this is I need to really work on that I have no patience guys like it needs it's pretty bad anywho so there's that I'm obsessed I love the colors too so we have I just bought two sticker books I got the new what is this called essentials holiday essential holidays and it has 2896 stickers and 100 sticker sheets and then this is the original og colorful boxes 594 but they did update the front cover and i was just like it's on sale right now i have been needing boxes for so long let's just nab it so we start with our teals greens section and our headers these are our headers and then more boxes just double header almost and then this is our three quarter box and then our double long and our square boxes my favorite shape and then re repeat in the next color scheme this book never really had red in it it's mostly like peaches and pinks and like slightly orange and then i feel like they do need to update this book um i know that they have updated like you know um box books but their color range is still just not there so this og one is definitely i guess where it's at or you just gotta go over to mojo jojo plans guys if you know you know and then we get blues and purples here i love the shades of these purple i don't understand why they don't keep all the same colors together but whatever it is what it is and then our double wide in squares do you guys use these i almost never use ask lines is that what they're called i have no clue i don't use them and then we have black boxes and this is always my favorite I think I use these ones up the fastest. I have two in Mojo Jojo plans and one is, it's almost done, which is surprising. But I do like that these ones have lines and graph paper and also dot grid. And then we have gold. I almost used up all the gold in my other book. So getting this just in time. So lots of gold. I don't know why Happy Planner does gold so much, but they do. And then we have silver in all those same sizes. And I rarely use silver. I usually use it around Christmas time, actually. And that is that book. So it's always nice to just have a boxes book with some other little thinking jigs in it. So, I have not looked at this one. I only seen people, you know, do the flip throughs of it. Um, but I haven't seen it up close and personal. So, like I said, this is a holiday book. And we should have lots of holidays in here. Let's see. We have Martin Luther King Day, World Health, Women's Equality, International Women's Day, Passover. So, just... All the holidays and then we we just got some quotes 
This all says celebrate in a couple different, in two different fonts. Best day ever. Love this day. And that just repeats. And then this is just lots of hoorays, exciting, funs, that kind of deal. So I'm assuming this is going to be the beginning of the year. And we're starting with, that's what I thought, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. This was really cute. I like that the gold isn't like kind of in your face. It's a lot softer. And I love these fireworks. So we get two of those on clear. And then we get boxes. So we have monthlies, headers, a couple small ones, a couple big ones, some decorative, some not decorative. And we are repeating ourselves on the exact same page. Of course, these are paper. Then we have Happy Lunar Ye New Year. And I believe this is celebrated by um, Cantonese, Chinese. So if I'm incorrect, let me know. There might be multiple places that celebrate this, maybe at a different time, I don't know. The dumplings, yum, the cookies, the monies, the oranges. Yeah, these are all unclear. The lanterns are beautiful. And then we have boxes and we have these little ones. Do we have little ones on? Nope, we had headers. So we have little flag ones here, double on paper. And then we have Valentine's Day with some red, like what is that, hollow, red hollow. This is cute, two. Both on clear, and then we get some decorative on paper. So I didn't, so most of our decorative has been clear, but we get paper and clear on this one. Then we get pink and red boxes. These hearts are so cute. Or, you know, or disc, you know. So we get two pages and then we get St. Patrick's Day. I love the St. Patrick's Day. I love that it has the Irish flag. Like we haven't got, I haven't seen it like this before, unless they're in other holiday books that I don't have. Um, I love these rainbows with the like blue kind of covering the rainbow, with the fl um, clouds. It's really darling. So I got two pages of those on clear. Ooh. I like these kind of flags. Got these cute boxes. These have been my favorite boxes so far. They're really cute. I love the three and the four leaf clovers. They're so darling. So we get two pages of that. And then Ramadan. Um, I know in my religion, we celebrate something similar to Ramadan with fasting from sunrise to sunset. Um, I'm not an active participating, you know, Baha'i. There's a lot of lessons that I adhere to. So, like I said, it's similar to Ramadan, but it's not. Um, it's called the 19-day feast, actually, in Baha'i. So, we have treats and, I believe, like raisins or nuts. Um, this looks like some type of patty. These lanterns and are beautiful. We have this same symbol minus the um, moon and star. Um, it's very similar to this. Um, ours is a nine point star. So yeah, that's beautiful. I can't wait to decorate with these. Ooh, different shapes. We get two in paper. Oh, this is cute. Earth Day and Easter um, on the same page because they fall in the same month. It's really cute and they are on clear sticker paper. Ooh, these ones got dots. Love it. I love these ones. They are so cute. And those are on paper. And then we have Mother's Day and Father's Day on the same page. I like that Mother or Father's Day looks a lot different than it has in so long. I mean, I know these mustaches have been played out, um, but still, the color scheme is pretty. I like that there, there's the blue in there. It's nice. Um, 
Mother's Day. You know, it just resembles Father's Day. It's cute though. So we got stick, clear sticker paper and then here are our boxes. Okay, so we have Happy Pride, Equality. I think that's pretty fun, funny. And we have our, is that our trans flag or is that our non-binary flag with the rainbow flag? I'm not really sure. Um, I'll definitely look it up for my own, you know, knowledge. Ooh, these boxes are so cute. I love the rainbow. And I know it does have, I believe this is the non-binary flag down here. And then that's the trans flag. I believe. I know for sure. That is trans. I'm not sure what the pink and purples mean. I don't want to be dense, but I do want to be knowledgeable. You know, it's just smart. And then we have Juneteenth. I have to be very honest, I've never been one to celebrate Juneteenth. Um, I feel like I just came into it just like everybody else did when we finally got a holiday and it was recognized as the day that finally all of the Africans knew that they were technically free and out of chattel slavery. So we got our cute boxes. And they are on paper. So I feel like almost all decorative is on clear. Except for those Valentine's Day ones. Um, I love these fireworks. I think they're darling. I love these stars. They're so stinking cute. Um, <laughs> our little sunglasses. I love these. This is really cute. This is probably one of my favorite um, 4th of July pages. It's really cute. Oh! I spoke too soon because now we have another, we have double paper for 4th of July. These are so cute. I love these fireworks, guys. I'm digging, this party hat is so stinging cute. And with that blue iridescence, nice. Um, I do not like the coloring on these flags. I just don't like it. I don't like how it's mixed with that gray. It doesn't sit well with me. Maybe in a spread it will look different. I do like the little hat though. So we get two of those. And then we have mental health and kindness, which I feel like our world needs a lot of that right now. People are not nice to each other right now and it's, it's ugly. So here are the boxes that go with it. It's so cute. I love these little hearts. <laughs> these are so cute. I love these colors. And then we have Halloween. This, <laughs> oh, the spider with candy corn. Gross. Sorry if you guys like candy corn. These ghosts are so fun. They're, they just look like bl little blobs to me. I love that hat. I wish the house would slip the other way though. So that we would get another look, you know? And like how this one's yellow, I wish this one was like purple inside or like green or something, you know? I think that they need to be a little bit more mindful and like try to flip things. Like these books are, it's a lot of stickers, so try to get it a new way. I love this orangey bronze. I love these candy corns and this candy. I wish I had this at Halloween. These cats are creepy. And these are on paper. I really did speak too soon because now we're getting decorative on paper. I like these boxes. This one is one of my favorite ones with the little sparkles and the webs. I like that one. This looks kind of weird because of the cutout. I don't know. Is that just the main thing? And Dia de los Muertos. Ooh, tamales. Ooh, yum. The altar, the treats, the marigolds, sugar skulls. This is really pretty. I really love this color, color palette. It's really pretty. Ooh, all the flags. And these are on paper. Were these on paper? No, these are clear. 
And these are on paper. I really love these circles. They're cute. Ooh, and you get boxes. I love this one. I wish the marigolds were on a different color. Like if the marigolds were on green or blue, it would have made them pop more instead of the marigolds on the yellow. Still cute. And Wally, this is just beautiful. Um, I don't know why um, Diwali is celebrated. It's another thing where I have to look it up. Um, I think it's beautiful though. The colors are stunning. I believe this is um, Indian, like Indian from India. I believe. I believe. Um, I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm not. These boxes are cute. I love this one and this one. Is that Lotus? Maybe. Then we have Thanksgiving. What is this green bean casserole? It looks horrendous. I <laughs> think I wanna just throw those stickers away. They look unappetizing. The colors in this one look muddled. Is it me or do these look so muddled? Like the turkey, like he's lost like, you can barely see his eyes in his wing, you know? And these are on clear. I like that the gravy is going right over the mashed potatoes. But yeah, you can't even see the cross sections of the pie. You can barely see it. Are those supposed to be cranberries? Yeah, they lost the detailing because it's too dark. Um, okay. I, do you guys like this? I'm not a fan. These are two pages I can absolutely just forego. See, look at the boxes. You see how you can see everything? I feel like it's not so muddled. I love these. That is cute. This should have been three in orange and three this color. What's that about? That's odd. Look at Hanukkah, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it. They have the Star David, and then they have their menorah. They have all their candles and the dreidels. And do they have latkes right there, I believe? It's really cute. All right, I'm assuming this would have the oil in it. And then we have um, cupcakes and goblets for our wine, I believe. And then our boxes. I like these. They're like wide enough you can really write in. Cute. And then Christmas. And see the same thing with Christmas. It looks, you see how Hanukkah is like really vibrant? And then you go to Christmas and it doesn't look as vibrant. It's like they muddled the colors. I don't, I'm not understanding. I can barely see Rudolph, man. And these blue ones just really throw it off. Like, this is the time you use gold and silver, guys. Come on, come on. Then we have extra pages and these are in clear as well. Then our boxes. two of those and then we have Kwanzaa um, I don't know what they call their stand for their candles but underneath it has the writing in I don't know is that African I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure what language is used here and then it tells you um, the black candle the tallest candle is unity and then we have self-determination collective responsibility cooperative economics purpose creativity and faith and that's the way it goes after you go from the black one and then they all go in order this is really cool I've, i don't really know anything about kwanzaa either um 
but I actually do have quite a bit of these symbols in my home because my husband is a Rastafari in and he is actively practicing Rastafari, his religion. And more boxes. I like the boxes in here. I like it. These ones are cute. Little candles. And then we have a birthday. This birthday is pretty cute. I like it. And we got two on clear. And then these are iridescent or hollow actually. And are they repeating? They are repeating. Um, I'm not a fan of the script, but you know, it is what it is. These are all like, you know, a few holidays. And then we have more holidays and election days and all that stuff. Indigenous Peoples Days, Rosh Hashanah, Patriot Day. We got all the days here, which is cool. And then here are probably most of the holidays, I'm assuming. Do so they go straight up and down? Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, June Day now. Yes, we have all the holidays. Perfect. And we got two sheets, and those are paper. So, there you go, guys. I know this was long, but that book was thick. So these are all the things that I bought. All right, and these are all the items that I bought during the Black Friday sale slash week. Um, bookmarks and dashboards, um, snapping covers, my planner. So the only thing I got at Michael's, everything else was from Happy Planner. My J disc and two sticker books. If you guys like this little haul, you should definitely give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment, click the notification so you'll be notified when I post content. Thank you so much for joining me today and remember to have a beautiful one.